I take pride in what my family is, you know, what they've done and what they are doing. Kyle Schwarber's childhood heroes. They're the big reasons why I started this. Weren't ball players. They were relatives who served as police officers, firefighters, and in the military. As a kid, Schwarber often went straight from school to the police station. And my dad would come and pick me up and take me back to the police department. And I'd have to hang out with him until uh, work was over. And uh, you know, I grew up playing, being around the police, you know, being around the police dogs and being around fire trucks. And you know, for me, it was a big part of my life. So last year, he created Schwarber's Neighborhood Heroes. And he's been visiting police departments, fire stations, and military bases ever since. This summer, Schwarber also hosted a block party which honored first responders and raised almost $300,000. We were able to donate some Lemar kits, which are trauma packs to uh, police departments, uh, new televisions and uh, you know, some, some Xboxes to uh, fire stations for guys who are there for 24 hours, give them something to do while they're, they're waiting for their next call. Someday, Schwarber would like his Neighborhood Heroes program to grow enough to provide college scholarships and maybe a make-a-wish type event for military families. But until then, Schwarber will be out there shaking hands and, and saying heart. thank and, you. Uh, you know, it's something that I think that needs to be said more. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of good that goes on. Uh, if we can just put a smile on the face, you know, if it's for a day, if we can change their week, if we can change their month, change their year, whatever it is, that's our goal.